Hey, what's going on everyone? I'm Timothy Brazil, and you're watching Inspire with Drones. Uh, if this is your first time watching this channel, thank you for tuning in and checking me out. If this is something that interests you, why don't you go ahead and give it a like, share it even, subscribe if you want to do something like that, if you're into that kind of thing. Uh, but today marks the one year anniversary that I have been a certified drone pilot. And I felt it necessary to just kind of share my experience of what it's been like as a certified drone pilot, um, passing my part 107 and basically what were my steps moving forward as this has always been a goal of mine for the last, what, four and a half, almost five years. Wow, it's been a journey. It's been an experience. And I, I just would like to share that because I believe that it may help someone, you know, and I'm already getting several individuals who are sharing their interest and desire to get their part 107. But not only that, you know, just by by my activity and what I've been doing throughout the year from or from last year, it has in, inspired others to, to just want to get into the space. So moving forward, now I got my uh, temporary certificate. I had to print that out. And then I had to uh, fill out some more information uh, so that the FAA could send me my actual hard copy certificate, right? Which this little baby right here, the one thing that everyone is trying to get. Yeah. So really the topic of this video, is it worth getting your part 107? And so I passed the test in March. I finally received my, I think it was like the first or second week of March. Um, my birthday's in March. So I kind of, I, I got it on the same week of my birthday. So I was like, just, just so <laughs> excited about that. And then that's when I decided, okay, it's time to upgrade my drone. Uh, clearly right now, I still have it to this day, my Mavic Pro, you know, um, actually, I still like this drone. I mean, it's, you no, know, the camera quality isn't, isn't the same. It's not up there with all the newer technology, but this drone is a workhorse. It still flies very well. And it's a good drone to actually, um, train with, you know, and, and practice with in terms of flying and learning how to do certain maneuvers and whatnot, and, and just getting comfortable, just getting that, that, that feel of flying. That, that's what I started with and it served me well. And so later I decided, okay, it's time to upgrade. Ended up getting the Mavic 3. I got a story about this too. That's another video. But man, I tell you, I, I've, my first year with it, oh, I fell in love with it. And, and the things that I was able to do uh, with it was just so amazing. Um, however, after getting my part 107, after getting my hard copy certificate, after, you know, upgrading my drone, I actually sat down and I said, wait a minute, Tim, now what? What's your plan? What, what is it that you want to use it for? Are you trying to use it commercially? I mean, that that's the reason why we get it, right? It's because you want to be able to make money with your drone. For me, I wanted to get into real estate shoots, um, but I naturally, I'm already a videographer, so I already do that on the side. So really what I was also trying to do was incorporate my um, drone services into my videography services for like weddings. I do a lot of weddings and special events, parties, things like that. Um, and, and so, it was just understanding, hey, this is just another service that I can add to my package of services that I already rendered, right? So once I got that down, I was still feeling like, okay, I'm, I'm in a gray area because, yeah, that's great, but I know there's more. I need a mentor. I need to surround myself. I need to figure out how to find these jobs. There's so many jobs out there. How do you land these jobs? And that's where I landed across um, 
a YouTube influencer. Many of you know him and actually had the pleasure of meeting him. And that being uh, Kenneth Dono uh, from the original Dobo. Uh, he has a, a YouTube channel. If you've never heard of him, check him out. Uh, great guy. Um, he, 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 he keeps it real. He really he keeps it real when he's dealing with um, drones and drone technology and, and so forth. And, and so it was, as I was listening to one of his videos, he mentioned a company and that company was called the Droning Company. And the Droning Company serves as a hub uh, that allows drone certified pilots to purchase a subscription through them. It's only $10 a month. And what it does, it creates a platform or, or a portfolio for you or kind of like a website um, for you to, to market yourself. And it puts you in position for other companies, other businesses, other potential clients to find you online, especially when they're in need of a certified drone pilot in their area. So if, if you never heard of it, check it out. It's the Um, the founder and CEO of it or president, uh, Stuart, great guy, man. I always call him a rock star because literally he is a rock star. Uh, I had the privilege of, of, of meeting him and his whole team and staff. Um, I linked up with them. And what I really appreciate about Stuart was that he actually called me. It wasn't like, okay, I'm just signing up for something and then I'm just on my own. He literally called me, had a conversation with me, asked me some questions, tried to get to know me, and kind of gave me a little direction. So the next step for me was he linked me up with a community, a drone community, which is key. I'm telling you, it's so key. Once you get your, your part 107, it is vital that you link up with a community of like-minded individuals. And why I say that is because there's so much opportunity and, and, and there's so many benefits of doing that. And there's so much growth out of it too. The things that I've learned connecting with a community community of like-minded certified drone pilots it, it in my first year it just it put me on cloud nine kind of because it allowed me to not only gain knowledge and information about different jobs and services but also i had a lot of fun <laughs> i had so much fun um the group that I'm connected with is called Drone Connects, and it's ran by my mentor, Skip Fredericks. Great guy. Uh, he is the uh, CEO or uh, founder of uh, Hollywood Drones, and I've worked with him, done several jobs with him all last year. And I tell you, a great guy. He, he has a, a school where he teaches young students and, and, and individuals, um, you know, everything that they need to know to take their part 107. He's passed so many students who have gone through him. And so, yeah, I mean, I'm, I'm now connected with them and we go on what's, what's called um, fly-ins. And I love these fly-ins because we go to locations where um, it is, not only is it safe for us to fly, but it's a lot of times it's class G airspace. Um, or if we need to get uh, authorization, you know, you know, we can do that. But most of the times we'll go somewhere to a, a location, a destination, and, and it's just all of us as a group. And I really love that. That was like just the, the, the highlight beginning of my year with my certification. Where I actually got a taste of the benefits of being certified. I took my drone with me to a parade that my local union uh, for the company that I, I, I work for, for my full-time job, was hosting. And at the time, I asked my president, I, I had a conversation with him, and I said, hey, um, just want to let you know I'm certified now as a uh, uh, certified drone pilot. Uh, 
I was already over their media and communications department. So I was helping with that. And so, you know, here it is, the big day of our parade in the city of Fontana, California. And I wanted to see if I could get some aerial footage with my drone. And so he was like, yeah, I mean, if you think you can do it, if you think it's going to be safe, why not? So I said, okay, cool. But here's where I really took advantage. I understood that I was certified, but I knew law enforcement was going to be out there. And at this point, I never had to deal or experience any scenario where um, I had to answer to law enforcement for the, the, the reason that I was flying my drone in the air. So what I took the liberty of doing upon myself, there was a a officer in his car just out front of our building. I walked out there to the officer, introduced myself, told him who I was, um, and, that I, and that I was a part of this parade alongside of our, our union. And I showed him, I showed him my, my certificate. I told him, I said, hey, I'm a certified pilot. I'm looking to get some shots for my union as I'm over their media department here. And I just wanted to, to just let you guys know, um, just in case, I just want to make sure that, that there were no problems. And so he looks at it and he looks at me, he says, okay. He says, no problem. Um, we really don't have any planes flying around right now in, in the airspace at the moment anyway. So uh, what I'll do, I will notify all the other officers on ground to let them know to expect a small uh, UAV in the air. And that was that. And so here it is. I'm now shooting my first ever parade, right? And of course, I, I had to be mindful of the whole flying over people ordeal. But to see the officers and they're watching me and, and I see them and not have to worry about that. I, there, there was no fear. I wasn't really nervous or anything. I was so confident because I understood the value and the benefit of being certified and understood right away how to take advantage and, and, and use this to, to my advantage, basically. And so I did that. And then after that, I, I just really felt confident, like I could really do a lot with this thing, right? So time goes on, I'm, I'm flying, I'm just trying to, to rack up my uh, hours, flight time. Um, I did a commercial uh, property uh, with my mentor, Skip, uh, that I got paid to do. That was awesome. Um, what else did I do? I mean, of course, weddings and things like that. My mentor, uh, Skip, he reached out to me. He had another job for me to do. And I helped him on um, another job, which was held in Las Vegas. And many of you uh, know about the UAV uh, drone expo in Las Vegas. Well, I had the privilege of going <laughs> my first time. And man, I tell you what an experience just to see the many different uh, drone companies and the different types of technology that was out there. And not only that, just a lot of, in, um, a lot of individuals who were also in that same field and of space and, or, or space in general, I'm still to this day, I was like, wow, that was an experience. I mean, I literally met people like, again, I, I met uh, Ken Dono, I met Billy Cal, uh, famous YouTuber, um, Chris Farrell, the Drone Geek. Um, I also got to meet Greg. You, you all know Greg from Pilot Institute. Oh, Kevin Morris. You all know him. Well, you should if, if, if you follow the FAA. All these individuals, I got to interview them which was weird because I didn't plan that at all. I, I wasn't looking to do that, but here it is. I'm interviewing all these individuals and I'm telling you, man, it, it just, it put me on cloud nine. I met, oh, and I can't forget Wayne Baker. Wayne Baker. If you don't know who Wayne Baker is, Wayne Baker basically is the director of public safety integration at DJI.
I had the opportunity of flying out to Jamaica, my first time out of the country. And one of my desires has always been to do travel videography. And so I had an opportunity to fly out there to Jamaica. Man, I mean, that's just a, I had a time of my life. But to be able to also capture some stunning footage out there as well, whew, oh, it was so worth it. So worth it. And then I, I'd say with, with everything else that I was doing, and mind you, I'm doing a lot of fly-ins and stuff, just having a good time. Um, oh, and not only to mention my son. My, I, I have a 10-year-old son. He'll be 11 this year. He was a part of his uh, city or school band. And so it was in the city of Redlands. They, they had a, a, a Christmas parade. And so I'm really just there to support him, as I always do. I'm watching him. And here it is. I realized, huh, I got another opportunity to catch some awesome footage here. So what did I do? I took my handy dandy. Part 107 drone certificate license out. And I approached one of the officers. He brought over his chief. We got to talking. Come to find out he's certified. And we started talking about drones and everything. And it, it, was, it was kind of funny. But he was like, yeah, man. Hey, you know, if, 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 you, if you, as long as you can keep it safe, go for it, man. And then what happened? After that, the coordinator of the parade event wanted to talk to me because he said, man, we don't have anyone out here getting aerial footage. He said, man, I would love to talk with you afterwards, man, and, and, uh, and work something out at the end of this. And so I said, yeah, sure. So what did I do? I came to my son's band performance, a Christmas band performance, and ended up actually covering it. And it was actually televised. And here it is. I'm a part of the 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 uh, the parade, and I'm capturing all this footage. Why? Because it allows me to build up my portfolio, and that's key. And I want to share that with you. Don't be afraid to take advantage of certain opportunities because at the end of the day, it's going to be helpful for you to build up your portfolio. It was at the tail end of the year, and I think this was my biggest, biggest, biggest moment where I said to myself, yeah, it's worth getting your part 107. I've never, even though I'm a videographer, I've never shot a concert until last year in November, um, or was it December? It was one of the two. I think it was November. And the concert that I attended was the Jordan Sparks concert in Coachella Valley. Well, actually, it's, it's in Coachella Valley, but it was in Palm Desert. Uh, those, those who are familiar with Jordan Sparks, famous singer, um, she won, uh, I forgot what year uh, she won, but she was one of the finalists who won uh, Best Artist on the uh, American Idol show and I got to be on stage with Jordan Sparks as well as all the other entertainers and I'm right there I have I have my VIP pass and I'm there with my mentor Skip and also my my female friend and drone pilot Roseanne Denton oh man we had an awesome time you're talking about just having the opportunity to be out there, to shoot something like that. That was the cherry on top for me, which is basically why I tell you it is so worth, it is so worth being certified under part 107. And so that's what summed up my year of 2022. And I wouldn't change anything other than probably would have went out and took my drone and got some more shots of other things. And that's what I'm looking to up my game on this year. It's just get out there. I can tell you that you can do it all day long, but if you don't believe you can do it, you'll never do it. So 
With that said, I just want to encourage you, if you're on the fence about getting your part 107, I hope that what I've shared helps you to understand that it is so worth it and so much more. And this is a great time to invest into it because where the technology is going with with uh, drones now, is there's so many doors, there's so many opportunities, so many. Go for it. Is it worth it? Yes, especially now in 2023. So if you, if you got a drone, great. Why not take the extra step? Get certified, especially if you're looking to make money with your drone. That's, that's really why you need it. And not just that alone, but go for it. Go for it. I'm telling you, it's gonna, it's, ugh, it's just going to position you for so many other opportunities. That's all I got for you today. Um, if you got anything out of this, again, again, please give it a like, share it even, subscribe if you're into that. And we'll see what 2023 looks like. I, I'm gonna make a push to start sharing more of my experiences, more of my drone content, and um, the hopes that it inspires someone else to want to also jump into this space. With that said, again, take care. Thanks for watching. I'll see you in the next one. God bless you and keep flying. I'm out.